Hey guys, Luke here with Eastman's Hunting Journal. Today I want to give you an in-depth review on the Far White app. While I have you here, go down, click the notification bell, hit the subscribe button. We're bringing out tons of new content on things that can help you be the next level hunter. So the Far White app was built for hunters, by hunters. It's there to help you enhance your mapping experiences all for free. Available both on desktop and the App Store and Google Play. It allows you to find trailheads, license regulations, locations, uh, all at the click of your finger. No more sorting through local Game and Fish websites. Uh, all this stuff is found on here. Not only do you have access to online maps and access points, you're going to be also included on the far wide outdoor community. Being a part of the outdoor far wide community allows you to get access to tips and tactics on how to hunt western big game from elk to mule deer to mountain lion bird hunting uh, bison hunting deer hunting it's all there they have new blog content every week so it assures you that you're going to stay up to date so you know exactly what you're headed into during the fall so many of you may have never heard of the app far wide it actually started out just as a mapping just a mapping application that you can drop a few waypoints uh, look at satellite imagery uh, look at the topographical maps. Far White actually saw a need for the outdoor men and women to feel free to post things such as kill shots, trophy photos, a giant fish that you caught at a local at a local lake. So there's no sensory on this, uh, no sensitive content that gets bumped out, uh, which is pretty cool. So if Fridays haven't gotten any better. Far Wide has what's called Far Wide Fridays, and each week on Fridays, a new series of hunting gear gets published at a discounted price. So things like your Sig Sauer optics, your Hornady reloading ammunition, uh, it all is a discounted price on Fridays. So having the app, you have access to all that just to make sure you're never going to miss out on an opportunity to get some new gear at discounted price. So I'm going to stop talking. We're going to jump in the maps and just kind of give you a first-hand look at what the maps entail, uh, all the things, all the app features that they have. Uh, we'll do it on desktop and on my mobile device. So we just jumped in the Far Wide app. I kind of want to show you some things that I've been finding that's most useful. I'm about to go on a sheep hunt this weekend, and I'm going to drop a few waypoints on some some ridges that I like to glass up. Um, I have a friend here in Wyoming that drew a once-in-a-lifetime sheep tag. So I'm going to do us a favor and add some waypoints to this map and it actually saves to your phone. So you're not going to your phone and to your laptop to save waypoints. It's once you do it on one, it'll save to both, which is not really nice. So we're going to go up here to, it's called add an event. And right here, it'll say add a waypoint. So we're going to click on that and throw it exactly where we want. You can zoom in so you get a... So you get a precise location on exactly where you want to glass. So I'm going to want to glass on this ridge right here. You can add it there and name it. So we'll say glassing point one. You can name it whatever you want. A uh, little description. Um, and you can do this in the field too, uh, which is really cool. You can actually save offline maps and still be able to add waypoints and things like that. Add little descriptions. I saw a, a, sh a sheep in this area. I saw five sheep right here. So a neat feature from the Far Wide app. So just walking through these different features down here, you can actually draw a line uh, from you know distance to distance if you're trying to see how far a shot may be from from the bottom uh, next to the creek to the top of a ridge, you can do that. Uh, you can see it pops up 859 yards. Probably not going to take a shot that far unless you have some long range rifles, which I know it's become pretty popular, but uh, your choice. Um, and you can cancel, save. Uh, you can type whatever description you want. Potential shooting line. And click save. Another feature is draw an area. So a lot of you guys are pretty probably, a lot of you guys are probably familiar with this. So we're gonna start there and you know, just kind of see like a general area of how, how far a sheet might wander uh, from its top where it's bedded, from the tops of some cliffs and down to the creek, how 
big of an area you might want to hunt, just about a square mile. So if you create an area, draw out an area, you, don't, you can actually move it around just to see, you know, how big a ridge to ridge might be. Use these features to your advantage, uh, get creative with them. So after you're done, uh, it'll leave you with an, an end note, like if you wanna add, like this is gonna be my Saturday trip. And there are things you're gonna have to add, such as a description to be able to save it, um, which why wouldn't you wanna add more of a description to where you're going? All these events are saved, like I said, on your desktop and all your mobile device. So that's just a few of the many features that Farwhite has as far as their mapping uh, ability. Let's jump into the cell phone app and I can show you some more features. So to get into the uh, map layers on your mobile device, you're gonna go over here and hit explore. And what that's gonna pull up is all of the different map layers. So there is fishing and boating access points, uh, but for what we're gonna be wanting to do, we're gonna, definitely gonna be wanting to look public land and you can turn on all these map layers with a click of a button, see, turn on, off. Uh, just skim through those and see which ones you definitely want on. Uh, they got public land, uh, they got trails, roads, parking. Uh, if you have a spot you're thinking about going and you want a campsite, um, they have that. So it's just a good, another cool feature of the app you can use to your advantage. So obviously public hunting sites, hunter management areas, and turn that on, off, uh, walk in hunting areas, uh, it's pretty popular here. Uh, there's, well, it's a lot of checkerboard, so uh, it's definitely a, a map layer you want turned on. Um, wildlife habitat management uh, area campsite. So like I said, those are where you're gonna be wanting to be camping if you're doing day hunting from a camp. U.S. water gauges, if you're gonna be traveling uh, across a river or a creek, you're probably gonna be wanting to know how much water is. So you can know if you're gonna to wanna to bring a pair of hip waders and stash them in the bushes and you go on your happy way to your hunt. Get, like I said, get used to uh, being creative with these map layers. Uh, that's kind of what I like to do. So an important feature that I know all of you are gonna to want to know and learn is the offline mapping stuff. So if you're going on to your, uh, your mapping, you're gonna to wanna to go to uh, offline maps and click on this button right here, new offline maps and zone in on the sheep hunt that I'm gonna be doing this weekend that uh, clips from that I'm gonna be including in on this video. So you see all the things that I found with the Far Right app to enhance my hunt this weekend. After your offline map is downloaded, you can quick access to it to, it says my offline pack one, turn it on and you're ready to go. So you go back to the maps, my offline map right there, and you'll be good to go. Just make sure when you're going out, if you're not finding your map, uh, your offline map, make sure the tab is turned on. I've had that happen to me before where I forget that, oh, I saved that offline map, but you know, how do I turn it on? Or I forgot to turn it on. So I wanna reiterate that the social media feature is only on the app. It's pretty fun to be able to get on an app uh, with a bunch of like-minded uh, men and women that love the outdoors just as much as I do and be able to share my adventure with them from the weekend uh, and not have to be censored by it, worrying about if my post is gonna get da taken down uh, because I posted some blood on a gun and whatnot. So with the Far Wide app, you're never gonna have that problem. So that wraps up my Far Wide review. Uh, if you haven't, check it out. It's free. You're not going to lose out on any cash uh, checking this out. There's no uh, seven-day free trial. You're going to get charged for a credit card. Uh, it's all free. All the blog content, all the uh, Far Wide TV um, mapping uh, access points, you know, regulations. It's all free. Free, free, free. Free 99. You can't beat it.